Hi, my name is Derek Lewis, and I am head of FEOEF, Friends of Equal Opportunity and Education Forum. Today I would like to do three things. One, share some of our experience creating content for Open edX. Two, say a few words about engagement as it pertains to creating content. And three, tell you a bit about our organization, FEOEF. If you ask high school students how they feel about school, they will tell you school is boring. A fairly recent study conducted in 2009 found that 65% of high school students say that they are bored in school every day. 82% of those students say that the reason for the boredom is their material. What is even more troubling is that student engagement seems to decline precipitously as students progress through high school, as found in this fall 2015 Gallup survey. We view engagement as a complex and very personal experience, one that changes for each person throughout one's life, from course to course, topic to topic, and moment to moment, etc. Many people are involved in a variety of initiatives to increase student engagement and improve outcomes all along the education value chain, from the strategic to the day-to-day. -day. FEOEF is a not-for-profit scientific, educational, and charitable think tank dedicated to providing thought leadership primarily in three overlapping areas theoretical cognitive neuroscience, education policy reform, and open educational resources ecosystem advocacy and support. I created FEOEF in 1998 as a discussion forum among Harvard alumni and administrators. Initially, the forum included links to websites of major universities around the world. In 2009, we embraced MIT's Open Courseware Initiative and created a single portal to courses from multiple universities using open source materials coupled with a database-driven discussion forum at the topic level with an emphasis on academic standards and with an international perspective. In 2014, we created our first instance of the portal based on Open edX. We focus primarily on the pre-university level learner mostly from grade six to the first year of college in STEM, and now some adult professional courses in FinTech. We endeavor to support the availability of simple, easy to use resources. We currently have two learning portals, the Free Learning Channel and the newer Free Learning Channel X based on Open edX. This is the home page of the Free Learning Channel X, running on Microsoft's Azure Cloud. The contents for each course generally includes course descriptions, curated aligned open source textbooks whenever possible, detailed academic standards at the topic level where possible, curated open source lessons, exercises, and discussion forums. When we can't find suitable existing open content, we endeavor to fill the gap ourselves. Our content development approach incorporates these high-level guidelines. Don't repeat yourself. Develop content once, put it in one place, and access it from there. Loosely coupled, highly cohesive. We view edX as a content delivery system, not as a content development system. Three, maximize potential reuse. Develop content as dis discrete units that can easily be modified for reuse. And four, agile and continuous improvement. Develop and deliver content in iterations. This approach gives us greater reuse possibilities across multiple platforms, across courses, and as well as within courses. It provides us with the greatest possible range with regards to content format and presentation style, 
that also makes content management and versioning easy. We use our own static web page designer that is very similar to the one in edX. We have researched and used many ways to create static and dynamic content, including working with programs like Adobe Dreamweaver, Edge Animate, After Effects, Tumult Hype, and others. Here is a list of some of the tools that we have researched and used over time to create, publish, and maintain content. We have OpenEdX running locally, initially to get acquainted with it, and later for development and testing, primarily on Windows-based machines, but also on Macs and Ubuntu-based machines. Our current internet-facing instance is hosted on Microsoft Azure Cloud using the Bitnami image of the edX Cypress release. We also plan to install the regular OpenEdX build on Microsoft's cloud. Microsoft offers a number of very affordable hosting plans, including a 30-day free trial. The hosting plan we use costs $55 a month. As a Visual Studio subscriber, we qualified for $50 a month credit, so the net cost to us is $5. Installation on their cloud is easy, so you can use it to quickly get up to speed on the edX platform. As you progress, do speak with our colleagues at IBO Studios who are expert at open edX. edX provides lots of documentation about their software, particularly from a Linux perspective. I've installed open edX at least 16 times on PCs, Macs, and Ubuntu-based boxes for our use. I published a process that I use to install open edX on Windows boxes just to be helpful. The guides can be found at Read the Docs and GitHub. When it comes to creating engaging content, we try to remind ourselves that it is very much a two-way street. As Augusta, who was accepted at all eight Ivy League schools this year, shared, what allowed me to be successful is my persistence and my tenacity. Kudos to you, Augusta. I hope that gives you a feel for FEOEF and some of our experience with OpenEdX. Thanks for taking a moment.